Uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Uh, it is my pleasure to welcome you to our afternoon press conference. While uh, Team Armadillo is uh, getting ready for their flight window to open in just 10 minutes, uh, we are honored to have uh, we're honored to have Governor Bill Richardson. Let's get some folks to We're honored to have Bill Richardson, the governor of New Mexico, here. I, I want to take a second to tell you that when the X Prize was won in 2004. We had a vision for what that suborbital industry might become. And we needed a home. We needed a place that would invest in the infrastructure, invest in the regulations, invest in building a nest that would house this industry. And we went out to numerous states around this, this nation. And it was New Mexico, under the leadership of Governor uh, Richardson, and particularly the people of southern New Mexico, who stepped up stepped up financially, stepped up in every way to build what will be Spaceport America. Now, uh, yesterday, I had the honor of having a very good friend of mine return from 12 days on orbit. Uh, his name is Richard Garriott. Uh, Richard uh, is the sixth customer that one of our sister companies, Space Adventures, put in orbit. And today, for you to send someone to space, Governor, you have to actually go to capitalist Russia to buy a ticket to fly into space. And so it's going to be under your leadership that finally a paying American will be able to fly to space right here in New Mexico where the very first vehicle, a captured V-2, flew to, into space some 40 plus years ago. Uh, so we are we're honored, uh, and hopefully Armadillo will be lucky to have a, uh, a lucky charm here in, in the presence of uh, Governor Richardson as they complete the last leg. Uh, their flight, sir, will be going in about, about 20 minutes. And in the interim, uh, I'm honored to have you come up and speak about uh, an announcement. I also, as, uh, besides chairman of the XPRIZE, I am very proud to be chairman of the Rocket Racing League, which makes its home here in Las Cruces. So wearing both those hats, Governor Richardson, please join us. And thank you for your leadership thank you. and your passion. Thank you very much. Uh, I commend all of you. There's a magazine called Esquire, which is one of the best magazines that has an article about the 20 top visionaries in the country. And guess who's on it? Peter Diamantes. Let's hear it for Peter. I think it's Esquire. It's one of those great magazines. I only buy great magazines. I was flying back from Florida and I saw it and I was very excited because I knew when uh, Peter Diamantes and the XPRIZE chose New Mexico that heavyweights were getting behind what we are trying to do here in New Mexico for commercial space. Uh, good afternoon to all of you. It's great to be here at the XPRIZE Cup. I'm very happy to make a very important announcement. But first, we're very proud as a state of our involvement with the XPRIZE Cup, which we know has revolutionized space travel, continues to push boundaries and open up the space frontier to private citizens. So there is no better place to announce the next step in commercial space travel. And Peter seemed to hint to me that I should do this quickly or there's going to be an explosion and you're all going to leave and not cover what I say, so I'll try to be quick. Today, I'm very proud to announce that the Rocket Racing Inc. and Armandillo Airspace are teaming up to offer commercial space flights, and those flights are going to be taking off from New Mexico Spaceport America. So let's have a big cheer. Private sector partnership. If the private sector got behind Spaceboard America, it shows that we've got something very positive for the future. The first test launches are going to take place early next year. These are bold companies. These are companies with great leadership. They're proven leaders in this area, and our state is proud to host them. This partnership is a testament to New Mexico's strength in the space industry. So what do we have? Why are we best at space? Our clear airspace, fantastic weather, non-corrosive climate, visionary residents, great governor leadership. No, that's not it. 
that's not in here, but I, I thought I'd throw it in. And I, and I want to thank Steve Lundin, who runs our Spaceport America. Give Steve a nice hand. So this announcement is another step, another recognition that Spaceport America is working, is positive. And while I'm at it, I urge all the residents of Otero County to vote for the gross receipts tax. It's happened in Sierra County. It's happened in Doniana County. We want, we've got one more to go, and we are off. So our partnership with these two great companies, along with Virgin Galactic, means that Spaceport America is now going to be launching the leading horizontal and vertical commercial space companies. I want to thank both of these great operations, Rocket Racing, Armadillo, for making this tremendous investment in our future. And Granger, who I will introduce shortly, will announce uh, a commitment that the state is going to make in capital outlay, a commitment we've made uh, to refurbish some of the facilities here. Spaceport America is one of our most significant economic development projects in the state, probably the most in history, along with our rail runner. So we are revolutionizing not just mass transit, but also space. It's going to create Spaceport America, no, a completely new whole wage base, job base. It's going to increase tourism statewide. It's going to inject millions into our educational system uh, the and 2,250 jobs in the first five years. Bet, $1 billion dollars in economic area. activity. So we're very proud to be a right first, to, to welcome this new industry. It's called New Mexico Pride. We're going to be Roger first that. in space. We're going to be first in mass transit. We're going to be first in the West. We're the Wild West. Here we are, meet space. So I'm delighted now to introduce uh, a good man, a dear friend, somebody who's a visionary too, like Peter, and these two partnering together, it makes it all exciting. They're both in the same lead as Richard Branson. And financially, maybe not quite yet, but hopefully soon. Granger Whitelaw, please give Granger a very nice hand. Thank you, Governor. Thank you. Well, we're better looking and we're faster than Richard, so. Uh, thank you all for coming today. I want to thank uh, Governor Richardson for your, uh, your dedication to this industry and your support of rocket racing. And, um, you know, we hope you uh, are here to continue that for years to come or wherever you go. Um, and Fred Mondragon and Daniela uh, Glick for uh, all her support uh, getting this pulled together over the last couple of months. It's been a lot of conversations and a lot of planning. Um, I'm going to explain kind of the partnership to you, uh, and also the city of Las Cruces. I, I want to talk about the city of Las Cruces because they've been really helpful. Uh, the people at the airport, Lisa Murphy and, and Doug, and, and all the city council members who've been supporting this plan. Um, Rocket Racing Technology Development, which is one of our subsidiaries, has put together this partnership that includes New Mexico, Armadillo Aerospace, who's been flying rockets now for eight years. Uh, and we have a for another partner in this group that is our ticket and, and experience partner who will be managing the, the people and the ticket sales. And we'll be announcing them in, uh, when we start our marketing campaign. Rocket Racing is going to oversee the financial contributions, the structure of that, and oversee the overall project. Armadillo Aerospace, with their phenomenal engineering, like you're going to see more today, is going to be building these ships. It's a two-passenger vehicle, as you can see, that we, we think is going to have eight rockets on it right now. And we'll take you to suborbit, let you have four and a half or five minutes of zero G floating in a 360 degree view. Not a back of the bus porthole view, but a 360 degree view as you're going up and as you're coming down, and obviously when you're up there floating around. It'll be the most incredible experience that you can ever imagine. And we're trying to bring the cost of that down to earth. So we have set our ticket price at $100,000 or less. And as we develop this new partnership and all the different pieces of it come together, we'll be announcing our pricing and many other aspects of this. So this developmental partnership we put together, we're very excited about. With Las Cruces Airport itself, where we've located the Rocket Racing League Research and Development Park, we think it's very important to have infrastructure to support Spaceport America and all the, all the launches that will be going on there. 
You need to bring technology to New Mexico. You need to bring the people and the resources and the experience to New Mexico. And Las Cruces is the best place we have found to do that. They have phenomenal schools, they have a great community, and we think that the people will enjoy living here and working here. And we're going to build an area where they can come bring their technology and their experience. To that, the uh, state of New Mexico and Governor Richardson have allocated us $3 million to the city of Las Cruces and the Rocket Racing League to develop the, the, uh, the infrastructure we need to start building uh, warehouse space and, and bring our manufacturing facilities, our composite manufacturing for velocity aircraft here, build our rocket racers. So you will see that happening next year. We're going to be bringing jobs to this community, money, and phenomenal people to join your community. Um, I think that's about it. I, uh, <laughs> Copy that. Oh, definitely. Um, I was going to have John Carmack come and speak, um, and he is out on the launch pad. We videotaped him, but you won't be able to see it. Uh, so after this, if you want to talk to John Carmack, he'll be in about half an hour after he wins the Lunar Challenge. Um, which I'm hoping for. Uh, and I wanted to uh, first announce, uh, uh, introduce Dolores Connor. She is a, a council member from the city of Las Cruces. And then I will be bringing Steve Landine up to speak as well. Thank you. Please check that the safety clear zone is clear of all third parties. Safety clear zone. Thank you so much for giving me this opportunity. And I can tell you from the city of Las Cruces, there couldn't be a better place that we would want you at, Governor, not only today, but all the economic development that comes with this and on top of that the education that we can use within our community and all the jobs that will be here and it gives me great honor to say that the city of Las Cruces is supportive of this effort and we're ready to get rolling with all of you through this process and all of you have been so uh, supportive to us in getting this done and we're going to pass Otero one way or the other governor and we're all going to be there together so um, I think they wanted me to introduce the man behind the scenes who's out in front of the scenes and doing a lot of work be for all of us involved is Mr. Steve Lending. Thank you. All right. Well, this is truly a historic day. And it's only appropriate. ISPCS conference, the International Symposium, just concluded yesterday. And so today, here we're announcing what a wonderful partnership and the next step in the adventures in space. And so it's only fitting that this racing, the Rocket Racing League, is here helping to lead this, this pace. And so this next step is game on. Who's going to make it first, horizontal or vertical? So uh, <laughs> biased audience. Uh, but this is what Spaceport America is trying to do. It's about economic development, tourism, and education. We now have the two leaders coming and flying, developing vehicles and flying from Spaceport America, going to do research and development. It's very important. And hello to all the kids out there at the Space Museum right now. Uh, the Space Museum has been putting on an event for the last uh, two days, and this is the third day. There's probably 2,500 to 3,500 kids that have gone through there. Holloman Air Force Base, over 60 volunteers to educate the kids on what's going on. A live feed, the XPRIZE has put on a live feed over to the IMAX Theater, so the kids are seeing what's going on out here. So very enriching to provide that spark for the youth, the next leaders of the nation. That's what Spaceport America is about. It's about getting America back on top, number one in math, number one in science, not what those commercials are saying. It starts with the kids. That's how we're going to be strong as a nation. And thank you, Governor, for the leadership and legislature to make this happen. Because without the governor and the legislature coming together several years ago to come up with a plan on how to fund this, and thank you to the counties, Doniana and Sierra and soon to be Otero, for rounding out the funding. Otero can be the keystone to this new adventure. And now we've got the players and the team members that are coming here to lead this way. So thank you. Thank you very much, Steve. I, I want to, uh, I know this is not in the program, but I want to have the director of uh, the board of Spaceport America and Deputy Secretary of Economic Development, Daniela Glick, come up here and say a few words because she is a Las Crucian. She's Deputy Cabinet Secretary. When Daniela started working for me, she was a nobody. <laughs> but now, now because of her tutelage, I'm her mentor. She's a very important and high and bright official. <laughs> I want to recognize Daniela Glick. Thank you, Governor. 
And thank everyone for being here today. I would just echo what everyone has said on the stage about the excitement of this partnership between Armadillo and Rocket Racing League and with the partnership that we have with Virgin Galactic. Spaceport America is going to be amazing for not only Southern New Mexico but all of New Mexico and the United States and the world. The International Symposium clearly demonstrated that this is a global effort and we all want to work together to get this done and I am thrilled at this opportunity and I'm thrilled for Las Cruces. So thank you. Thanks, Daniel. I also want to just take a minute to thank John Hummer. John has been very helpful in making this all happen over the years. John, thank you very much. I didn't want to leave you out there. Finally. <laughs> um, so I guess if we have any questions, we can take a question or two if anybody has any. And, and uh, Any of the press here have any questions? Governor, are you going to be the first one on to take this ride? I'm going to be the third or fourth. <laughs> 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 no, but I expect to go up. But I think the first is already taken up, isn't it? I'm going. Yeah, that's me and Peter. <laughs> you and Peter. Me too. Ah! We've I'll got be, our, we've got our seats I'll ready. Be <laughs> After Steve. I'm on the development ride. Anybody else? What's in the future for Rocket Racing League? Uh, Rocket Racing League. Well, we uh, about two weeks ago we had uh, approval of our first rocket racer by the FAA to fly at uh, 20 venues over the United States of America uh, for exhibition uh, uh, events, which is a huge uh, accomplishment for rocket racing. It's the first time I think the FAA has ever awarded a rocket plane, that type of certificate, uh, rocket powered vehicle for multiple venues. Um, our first uh, one should be in early spring. We're gonna do six to eight events, including events out here in Las Cruces and possibly at the spaceport. Uh, and uh, the following year we'll be racing on TV and having a lot of fun. Okay, Peter. Uh, and I'll just mention we have two vehicles that are up and flying right now, and uh, we're at about uh, about seven minutes to uh, to launch, Governor. Uh, would would you be able to uh, take a few questions right after this flight? Um, I think we're we're going to see the flight now, which will be done in about uh, probably about seven minutes or so. You'll want to see this flight for just five minutes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, if if we could. Uh, Take a last question from the from the audience here. Any last questions? Peter, let Good. Me just uh, also because Las Cruces is, is so important in this effort. Somebody else who's worked very hard on all our economic development projects is uh, Doug Rains from the Los Conquistadores. It's like the chambers of commerce, uh, the boosters of the city. He doesn't have his coat on, but he's got a coat with all these pins on it about a thousand pins and once he came into the mansion with all of them and he couldn't he couldn't walk because he was weighted down by all these pins but thank you very much doc so we will see the the great artistry shortly any other questions because i have to right after the yeah talk <laughs> i i am very happy where i am but here's what i want to be sure of that the Obama administration is pro-commercial space. We're going to push that hard. And that the administration is pro-space, uh, pro-government space, but also pro-commercial space. And, and I think it's in the interest of our national space industry that commercial space be properly developed. So I'll be an advocate wherever I am, hopefully here still as governor of New Mexico, but you never know. Thank you very much. Thanks for that question. That's just what I needed. <laughs> Governor, thank you, and I would like to just say thank you to my partner, Granger Whitelaw, for his tremendous work as the CEO of the company. Thanks. So if you guys would uh, get ready, uh, locks loading is occurring. Uh, we'll have pressurization, and we should have a flight here in about five or six minutes. <laughs>